everyone, I'm Sarah Compro, the Planetarium Programs Coordinator at the Bell Museum. And tonight I'm going to challenge you to find the constellation of Hercules. Now the constellation is quite large, but its stars are dim, so it's hard to see from the cities. For that reason, I recommend finding a location far from city lights, if at all possible. Are you ready to accept the challenge? Grab your red flashlight and star map, and let's get going. What makes finding Hercules a bit of a challenge is that its stars are dimmer than the North Star which isn't all that bright to begin with. So how do we find Hercules if there aren't any super obvious bright stars? The answer, start with stars we do know, and then star hop. We're gonna star hop between the two bright stars, Arcturus and Bohotes, and Vega and Lyra. Once you've found Arcturus, look towards the east and you'll find the bright star Vega. If you draw an imaginary line between these two stars, the line will cross right through the torso of Hercules. Hercules' torso looks like a trapezoid and is the asterism known as the keystone. The keystone is anchored by the stars Zeta, Epsilon, Pi, and Sophian. Stars that don't have more common names just get names from the Greek alphabet. From there, Hercules has his arms and legs fanning out, almost like he's doing a cartwheel or kneeling. In fact, many of the star names in this constellation reference a kneeling man. How'd you do with this challenge? As a bonus for completing the challenge, I'll leave you with a favorite object of mine, visible with a small telescope or binoculars between the stars Zeta and Sophian in Hercules' torso, is the great globular cluster in Hercules, a gorgeous cluster of 300,000 stars. Happy stargazing and clear skies.